You have chosen wisely. Yes, please try, just meditate for a moment on the fact that the wise choice, the wonderful choice, the sanity sparing choice that brings joy to your heart is a picture of Barbie's gaping cranium with her exposed brain being wiped down with glitter and nail polish and this is the good stuff people this is the good stuff so just imagine the horror the utter inconceivable terror the cyclopean cthulhu-esque insanity that must lie behind the red door okay that is what i'm saying here that is all i'm trying to say all right so let's play barbie brain surgery from girls play this may possibly i can't imagine that this is official because this doesn't look like Barbie from the top down. You know, I'm, I'm quite familiar with what Barbie looks like from the cranium on down view. Okay, that actually looks like Barbie. This symbol should probably not be there in an official Barbie game, though. What? Stick the thermometer in her mouth? Okay. Do you have a temperature, Barbie? You do have a temperature. You have one heck of a temperature, in fact. Off the charts. Okay, so we're going to hook up an electroencephalogram, most likely. Now, normally, these involve... I think what? you have... Whoa! We just electrocuted Barbie! <laughs> Holy crap! We are the most horrible doctor in existence! Was that supposed to be shock therapy? Electroconvulsive therapy? ECT? You use that when people have, like, seizures or schizophrenia as, like, a last resort kind of treatment. That is not a, oh, you have a temperature? Let's shock the crap out of you. All right, so now we're going to hook up an EKG or an ECG, which monitors heart rhythm. And uh, some of this looks irregular. I'm not an expert at reading uh, rhythm strips, so she seems all kinds of happy, though. It's like, oh, you shocked the crap out of me, but now you've confirmed that my heart works correctly, so I'm back to happy. This has sleep pills? Oh, oh, a little bit of nausea. Now you're feeling a little bit better. And now that we've given you a, a sleeping pill, uh, we're going to go ahead and administer oxygen. Or dust? What is that? That's horrible. You don't normally give a patient a sleeping pill and then give them inhaled anesthetics to knock them unconscious. All right, take the stupid thing off. Shave your head, Barbie. No one told you this was going to happen, but it's happening now. That was a very good cut. You did that in just like a couple strokes. Womp. Look at the size of that head. This lady's got gigantic brain. A little stubby pencil. You know, just a tiny little stub of a pencil. We do so many brain surgeries, we've worn our, our uh, cranium marking pen down to the... The heck was that? Okay, there's a couple problems with this. One, normally you don't use a highly corrosive pencil that eats through scalp, skull, and everything in between to expose the brain. Generally, there's like a, a scalpel involved to cut back the skin, and then you peel a flap of skin back, and then you have the exposed bone, so then you use a saw to cut through the bone of the skull, and then you remove that very carefully, and then you have exposed brain. But this magical pen, when you outline something with it, it disappears. And we see that Barbie literally, literally, in, in it, and I hate to say this, but we're using the word literally in a literal sense here, has chocolate and shoes on the brain. And also incredibly mutant starfish. Okay, so we're going to use a butter knife to remove the chocolate from your brain. We're going to cut that section of brain right out. And she bleeds glitter. Barbie is so girly that she bleeds glitter from her brain. Okay, I don't know what to do now because you haven't shown me... Oh, it paused on purpose, deliberately giving you uh, the chance to, to experience and to fully drink in the idea that she bleeds glitter. Not only does she bleed glitter, but she bleeds glitter in coordinating colors. Oh my gosh. See, it leaves the knife there just 
pointing at the glittery brain to say, look what you have done. Look what you have wrought. And then for some reason, you put the scalpel back down on the table. I'm going to call it a scalpel. I'm being very generous. This is a butter knife. And then you pick it right back up, and you're going to cut a starfish out of her head. And once again, we're going to bleed in in colors. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're going to actually use what looks like a... Um, what's the word for that? Not cotton ball. Um, the bean cakes that they use. Uh, the Chinese bean cakes. I can't remember the name for them anymore. Anyway, it's like a, a pastry and you steam them. A bun. A bean, a steamed bean bun. Something like that. I don't know. Let's clean up the glitter. My brain has stopped working at the thought of looking at this lady's brain. Alright. I can use the same cotton swab, though, to clean up all of the glitter. One cotton swab will do it. Doesn't make me click multiple times. Now the magic wand. Always very important. And often, a lot of uh, first year surgery residents forget the importance of the magic wand when it comes to brain surgery. Uh, all too often they'll think that, you know, good surgical technique with the scalpel and, but no, the magic wand is a key ingredient without which nothing can happen. See? Wah. It opens up a gaping hole in the top of her head. And then we use a giant magnifying screen and we see that she has some happy neurons and some unhappy neurons. And those unhappy neurons could be crying, they could be dead, they could just be sad, they could be horrified, just like we are at this moment. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on, and we're just staring at it. Is something going to happen? We are looking, but nothing is moving. Please, I want this to be over. Just give me the tools to fix it before I end it. What do I do? Oh! Okay, it doesn't tell you, but you basically just click in between all the unhappy neurons, and they become happy neurons. Dun da da da! All right, use the magic wand to seal the brain back up. Dun da da da! Corpus callosum. And then the magic of whatever the heck this thing is. Oh, we're going to we're going to arc weld her corpus callosum back together. What is that blue goo inside anyway? All right, and then we're going to put... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a giant see-through plastic shell. That is so 1950s. And I'm sure once we put it on... Okay, then we're going to put the, her nasty skin back on, piece by piece. The surgeon... If a surgeon cut someone's head up like this, they would be run out of town. My gosh, you. they would sit there in front of the medical board... And the medical board would look at the paper with the complaint, and then they would look up, and they're like, Are you shitting me? You cut her skull in the shape of puzzle pieces? Oh my gosh. But they were like nearly identical puzzle pieces, Your Honor. And then we're going to give her kind of a turban? Yeah, that, that'll work. Three piece. It looks like a towel wrapped around her hair. Her non-existent hair. And the most important thing after you get your brain surgery is that you better put on that lipstick. And you better do it very poorly. This game is horrifying. This game is absolutely insane. My gosh. And once again, I just need to point out, as bad as that was, the other game is worse. And you do not want to see it. And I beg you, I plead with you. I call upon all of your reserves to say no to watching the other video. Which I haven't even recorded yet because I am scared to death. Scared to my core, shaken to my soul at having to play it. So until next time, bye bye.